A 56 year old man will be arraigned in court today after authorities say they seized 20 ghost guns from his Pawtucket home Tuesday. Ferdinando Lombardi was the target of an ongoing narcotics investigation. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us live now with the latest on the case. Joe. Morning, Kate. Rhode Island State Police made the arrest on Tuesday on after an ongoing investigation into the sale and distribution of narcotics. But what they quickly realized was that that individual was in possession of privately made guns, otherwise known as ghost guns. Now, a court authorized search warrant was issued Tuesday at the residence of uh, of Ferdinand, Ferdinando Lombardi of Pawtucket. According to state police, more than 20 guns, five other illegal firearms, ghost gun parts, and a list of narcotics were seized during the search. Those narcotics include 30 grams of fentanyl, 12 grams of cocaine, drug sale paraphernalia, and over $7,500. Lombardi has been charged with 163 criminal counts, including two separate charges of possession of a firearm, possession of large capacity feeding devices, and possession of ghost guns. Attorney General Peter Narona sat down with 12 News to talk about the dangers of ghost guns on the street. Very concerned about these ghost guns. Again, they are guns with no markings, no serial numbers, and the kits to make them can be easily obtained online from vendors without getting a background check. And that's a real problem. Now, Lombardi was arraigned at the Lincoln Woods Barracks and is currently being held without bail at the ACI. He is expected here at Providence District Court later today and will be inside that courtroom, bringing you the latest right here on WPRI. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Joe Cortez, 12 News. Well, today, a 56 year old Pawtucket man is set to face a judge after authorities say they seized more than 20 ghost guns from his home Tuesday. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us live outside Providence District Court, where he's set to be arraigned. Morning, Kate. Rhode Island State Police arrested the 56 year old as he was targeted in a ongoing narcotics investigation. But police soon learned that he was in possession of 20 ghost guns or otherwise known as privately made firearms. Now, a court authorized search and seizure was issued for Lombardi's residence on Windmill Street in Pawtucket. During the seizure, police obtained 20 ghost guns, five other illegal firearms, a list of narcotics, as well as parts for manufacturing ghost guns. Lombardi has been charged with 163 criminal counts, including two separate possession of a firearm charges, a charge for large capacity feeding devices, and possession of ghost guns. Attorney General Peter Narona said these guns, these ghost guns are a real problem not just for police, but for the public as well. It creates a very dangerous situation, both for law enforcement and of course for victims, civilian victims. And so that's what we worry about. Uh, someone uh, heavily armed to the extent that the police aren't equipped in the first instance of going in to remedy a situation. Lombardi was arraigned at the Lincoln Woods Barracks and is currently being held at the ACI without bail. He is expected back in court today here at Providence District Court, and we will be in that courtroom bringing you the latest right here on WPRI. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Joe Cortez, 12 News.